Hey, what's up, people? Welcome to another exciting edition of the T-Shirt Help Desk. I did this before, and I'm going to do it over because it was way too long. So I'm going to kind of keep this one as brief as possible. But uh, I, I know that a lot of you guys that come to this channel, you're really trying to get into, or maybe some of you already are trying to get in back into this T-Shirt game. It's a multi-billion dollar business, um, and it's great. It's, it's a great business to get into, but it's hard body, and it's very competitive. And you need to know a little something, something about this before you just jump on into it. So, I know a lot of you guys are into streetwear and, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm going to hit that first, but I just want to explain to you guys the difference between a t-shirt niche, niche and a t-shirt line okay now niche t-shirts can you know they it definitely can be a t-shirt line but it's a it's a it's, it's a different animal it's a totally different animal than um a t-shirt line so without further ado i'm just going to get into you get into it and kind of show you and explain to, to you uh, the difference okay uh, a t-shirt a t-shirt line that's up and coming and just like all over the place uh, and we've all seen it is I'm gonna go right here to crooks and castles they're starting to you know they used to be underground and they're starting to um, be in major uh, department stores and major stores all over the place and this is their uh, website and this is their front page but I just want to explain to you something guys um, when you're dealing with um, a line you're dealing with an entire lifestyle okay and of course Crooks and Castles started out with you guessed it t-shirts okay I'm gonna get back to this but let's just go back here but right here they're not selling t-shirts per se they're selling an entire lifestyle guys and that's the difference between a t-shirt line and a t-shirt niche a t-shirt niche is selling you a specific part of a person's life and, and uh, it may or may not be cool lines are in general about being cool lines is about saying hey this is i'm cool and this is what i'm all about to a t-shirt niche and i'm going to get into that and i'm going to give you an example is about saying hey this is what i'm into and this is what i like to do you know and i want the world to know all right so i, w I just want to show you guys something because you know i'm trying to keep this brief this is their t-shirts crooks and castles you know really cool stuff they got the mickey mouse hands here with the leopard print they got this thing looking like medusa uh, they they've got uh this kind of a uh, uh, this logo t-shirt i mean you've all you can you know you can google it or um just put yeah pretty much google it and find crooks and castles very very famous okay but they're telling you lifestyle now we're gonna go right here to DGK which stands for dirty ghetto kids all right and you know if you look at this they got the stencil thing going on right here to show the logo they got this guy right here with the camera or something he's like you know looking all hard body they got these people looking like they're protesting you know, I'm just going to go down here really, really quick. They got these people, like, looking like they're in the, I don't know, in somebody's room in the projects. You understand what I'm saying? They got Al Capone's, who's a fa notorious gangster. They're, they're selling you street stuff. You know, kind of skate street stuff. This is the album cover for Jesus Peace, which is a, a rapper out of, um, a rapper called The Games latest album he's out of um, he's out of Compton Southern California and they're giving you the they, they, they're giving you the business man you know what I'm saying they 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 uh this is the line right here a, a, a part of the line DGK diamonds 
Uh, and this we got Bun B, who's another famous rapper. Um, uh, you know, I Heart Haters. They have the graffiti writing with the. Uh, this looks like a varsity jacket. It's on the hat. They're they're definitely selling you a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now that's just two lines. Okay. Now I want to get into the contrast of that, which is a. I uh, hope I'm not going too long. A niche t-shirt. Let me just show you something um, really quick. This right here is called Pedal Path Less Pedaled. Okay. Now this right here, Believe in Bicycles, is a t-shirt. Okay. Um, bike Love. They got you know two bicycles. Oh, isn't that cute? Like you know, like their boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, we're going to go down here. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm just, you know, what is this? Dream, discover, explore on your bike. Okay, this is for people that love to bike. Okay? They're, 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 you know what I'm saying? Now, people that love to bike can really be into a lot of things, you know? They could be into, I don't know, flying kites. They could be into professional wrestling. I really don't know. But they're only telling you one thing, and they're only selling you one thing, all right? And these stuff like this is usually usually sold online. And what they're pretty much saying is, hey, there's a people out here who are into this, but they can't, you know, find stuff that says it. You know, it'd be really hard pressed to go inside a Macy's or a Nordstrom's or a Walmart and find a T-shirt that's strictly for recreational. Um, bicycling it's just not gonna happen so you have to go online and this my friends is a niche t-shirt is selling a very specific pinpoint part of someone's lifestyle you know that's not ne necessarily popular could be popular but not necessarily all right let me go to another one here this right here is called funky yoga all right, and this is all about you know people who are into yoga. Okay, she she got she has the OM symbol on her shirt. You know what I'm saying? No my stay, which is a, a Indian saying that the uh, usually they say after the class is over. Um, and if you go down here, I'm just gonna click on this. You know, um, you got this. And her T-shirt says Yoga Holic. You know they're selling to a specific lifestyle. They're not now people who are into yoga. They may be vegetarians. They may be into sunbathing. They may be into meditation. They may be into uh, raw foods. There's a whole entire lifestyle that goes along with. But they're not really going for that. They're saying, hey, this is for people who are into yoga. You understand what I'm saying? It's 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 a. It's, I hope that by showing you these examples, it gives you, it, it tells you where you might want to go if you're getting into this. You know, it tells you, hey, one thing is one thing, and another thing is another. And before I go, hopefully this is not too long. I want to say something about this right here. Okay, when you're doing a t-shirt line. Okay, let me just say something right here, right now. T-shirt lines are not easy. Okay, you have to, you have to, number one, have a great product. You have to, number two, you have to realize that with um, something like this, you're dealing direct to the consumer online, you know, which can be very hard too. You Google AdWords and SEO and all type of stuff. But when you're dealing with something like crooks and castles and you're dealing with uh, any of these lines DGK you're not dealing directly with the consumer okay? you are maybe in some of the marketing but you're dealing with stores you have to deal with buyers you have to deal with merchandisers okay you have to deal with trade shows you have to deal with production okay and you have to deal with a hell of a lot of marketing. Some of these companies like this one, I mean, th th this company right here could have uh, half a million dollars, a quarter of a million dollars in an advertising budget, in a marketing budget. 
I know that you don't have that. If so, you wouldn't be trying to start a t-shirt line. You'd be off in Hawaii somewhere, you know? So that's just, you know, food for thought. Um, and one more thing before I go. Um, I just want to say something. If these people, they built, they were underground. They built a following. They eventually got into stores. Um, they eventually got their stuff on celebrities. So they have some equity in their brand. They have some equity in what they're doing. You, on the other hand, no one has ever heard of you. So if you're coming out with a line, and let's just say your line is called Lipsticks and Lemonade, and you have a shirt like this that just says that's just a logo shirt that of a company that no one has ever heard of, like, you know, this is your logo shirt, and as opposed to saying Crooks and Castles, your shirt says Lipstick and Lemonade, and no one has ever heard of you, no one is going to buy that shirt but your cousin and your uncle, all right? Because there's no equity there. There's nothing there. Who are you? People know who Crooks and Castles is. People know who uh, 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 DGK is. I'm going to go to another one, man, that's up and coming. Your Lil Wayne got a line out called Truck Fit. People know who Lil Wayne is. Lil Wayne's been rapping uh, since the mid-90s, I believe, man. Uh... People know who he is. There's something vested there. There's something that people can go to. People don't know who you, who you are. So when they see lipstick and lemonade, it's like, huh? And you think, damn, why nobody want my t-shirts? Because they don't know who you are. So anyway, just food for thought, guys. Make sure that you take your beautiful little selves to the t-shirt help desk. I hope this was helpful. Got a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. But remember, niche t-shirts versus the t-shirt line. Is a, a, a whole lot. I mean, I, I could talk about this for hours. I went on too long before. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, peace and blessings. May all your t-shirt dreams come true. And uh, hey, remember to rate, thumbs up, and subscribe, guys. Rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. And um, I'm Gary, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.